when a bounding box is created, it's created to the geometry is currently selected. So it doesn't go in and go, okay, how could I align this by how could I align this bounding box to the geometry inside? It just looks at the outside and creates it. But I can change that by entering into the group. I'm gonna double click to open the group. And same as I did before, I'm gonna go, okay, let's go to tools, let's grab axes, and let's go, I'm gonna place in the exact same spot I did before. So there, I'm gonna pull the red axes up to here, green up to here, and it realigns that axis. Now, that's good. So again, we have the same thing we had before where I got this crazy axis, but it's lining up. Now, if I click outside to close this box, it remembers that I just tried to change the axis. So when I click, oops, it realigns my bounding box to align with the direction of the axis. So now if I look at these two, they're the same. And the fact that this one is pivoted, that box still follows it. See that? So that is can be really nice. If you have this stuff that's off axis and you end up with these weird, huge bounding boxes, realign the axes can be simple.